right, guys, Karibuni Tana to Full Circle with Joyce. Hey, I'm seeing the SMS is coming in fast and furious concerning our topic. They are real women, real answers. And um, just to touch on a couple here, he topic Sinita Muwalai, but try to marry because of money. Hapo ndi otajua shetani ako alive and kicking. Ui, okay. Um, someone else says, discussion in many funza a lot. That's Livy, Kutoka Nairobi. Um, good morning, Joyce. The problem ladies tend to have comes in that men tend to forget where you've come from together especially when you've you know started or settled down akipata pesa he changes and starts cheating that's why ladies tend to shy away from broke guys okay that's sophie watching us from mawa in nakuru uh, asanteni sana you guys for your feedback and your comments <clears throat> But you can keep them coming into double two triple nine. You can also reach me on our social media platforms at Switch TV KE on um, Instagram and at uh, Switch TV Kenya on Facebook and Twitter. And I'll be more than happy to read out your feedback even as we go along with the show. Right now, I want to introduce my next guest, but I see even on Facebook the comments were so many on this topic. Um, uh, let me just read one or two more here. Sheila Koske says, most ladies love money, but if you want your relationship to work, trust, respect, and also love is very important. Money doesn't matter at all. Kamal Catherine says, hey, good morning, Joyce. Was just about to step out for work, but today's topic got the best of me. I'm watching from Nak Salimi, Baba Ben Ben. Um, you're learning a lot and you're a silent follower. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please don't lose your job <laughs> on our regard, but uh, I do appreciate your company. With that said, let me introduce our next topic. We now want to talk about um, what is often really a Pandora's box, okay? It's those conversations that ruin relationships. And Yeni, I just have the guy. He was sitting here while we were having our previous conversation and saying, now the extrovert has come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's not going to hide anything. Uh, Benjamin Zulu, of yeah. course, is here with us today. Kari to the show, Benjamin. Thank you. Thank you. Good to have you. Good to have you. I missed you. I miss them too. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Now, so as we've you know as we say you're usually on your best behavior when you're first meeting someone you want to mm -hmm. make a good impression so you're on your best behavior you know when you first start dating ata kuna mtu amesema yeah pesa inatokelezea the first two weeks after that and as if features inapotea um you're polite you're quick to suggest sharing dessert you know all sorts of things really really careful about what you say you're quick to apologize quick to say thank you you remember your golden words um but what happens is like later on it's like people begin to settle into the relationship and suddenly you find like within the heat of the moment you can actually say certain things on sharing food <laughs> five years down the line we used to share those days but note, don't touch my food i have two th <laughs> five me piece of meat and 2704 rice and when <laughs> <laughs> don't touch my food. Gosh. <laughs> Nani I took stock. <laughs> <laughs> so things change, I they guess. Do. Uh, people do. do settle into their relationships. Um, and so there are certain words, certain conversations that can end up ruining Can I tell you something? Relationships. It will not be desirable to stay in the romantic fire people started with. You will not move. On. You will not even come to work. You are obsessed with each other. Mm. In between anything, you want to get in touch. So let's say that it's not unfortunate that uh, romance you know, kind of wears down and we settle into true love. Mm. There's a guy who's written a book uh, called Ravi Zacharias, called Moving from Romance to True Love. Okay. So let's not regret the maturing, the seasoning of love. Even a flower, you know, shines and then moves on to a fruit mm. so that we can eat it. We can enjoy a flower, but you can't eat it. So romance is like a flower, very scent and all that, but we can't live on it. Yeah. So it's true, things do change, but they don't change for the unfortunate. So today we are talking about things, that the, the conversations that yeah. hurt. So there's certain things I want to point out, you know, as far as things that you can tend to hear in relationships. Yeah. That maybe you guys are having a hard time and you don't know, Kumbani, it's your, it's your words. Yes. <laughs> um, so, accusations against each other. You know, when you start arguments or conversations with, you always, you never, those type of things. Mm -hmm. um, those can be very detrimental to a relationship. Yes. L let's begin by saying that sometimes the people are saying they feel justified because you have annoyed them. You have hurt them. They're venting. And um, we, we said the other time that although we told you to be honest with your feelings, you know, I'm just being true with what I feel. Can I just tell you? And ladies keep soliciting for us to tell us 
they to are tell them feelings. what they think. <laughs> and I tell ladies, I tell guys, be very careful. There's some things once you say them, even saying sorry later will not heal them. <laughs> Asking a man, what kind of a man are you? Do you really say that? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Never use that word. Even if you feel like. No, but if you're asking nicely, not in the heat of a moment. Oh, no. Try ask me. Ask me now. Nicely. Benjamin, what kind of a man are you? <laughs> you sound so polite. But the thing, <laughs> but the thing you are saying. <laughs> but the true. question, the, the way substance you are of the saying, question. The way you are saying it might look like a sincere concern. It's right. true. How you say something matters. But there are some phrases you should avoid generally. Okay. Like, all oh, men are just the same. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you you bundled me. <laughs> oh, men, just yeah. So we are saying, and we, we, kuna moja lisema bwanake alimambia migu yake inakaa baisikeli. That's how it's. Okay. So, <laughs> so many of them, mungina kamambia ati kazi yake ni kuempte, you know, the kitchen. <laughs> Oi. Kukula. Oi. <laughs> Atina kufill washroom. Atina transfer <laughs> food. <laughs> okay, <I> mean. <laughs> she was not working and the man was working. So oh, no. kula too. Yeah. <laughs> so there are some things when you <laughs> say them, and they, you, we may not go our pathways, mm -hmm. but it has eaten a lot into our connection. Mm -hmm. So although you feel justified, it's very good to moderate. Kuna, kuna, you ladies who like cold treatment. Although it's, it's painful, it's very anxious, it's cold, it's like feel that cold war. Yeah. But it's more preferable than kuongea maneno ambayo later. Okay. They will scar for a very long time. So for sure you shouldn't be, also this is deflecting, right? So, okay, fine. Don't tell a man what kind of man are you because you're tugging on his, you know, insecurities really. Oh, very good. Attack the problem, not the person. Yeah. The reason so not you always, yes. you never. So, very good. Actually, that always, that you never, it is too general, meaning I never do anything right. Mm. How about you phrase it like, I just wonder why you did this. Mm -hmm. Attack the actual, the problem. For that time, this Instead happened. of asking what kind of man I am, you ask, I'm wondering what made you do this. Yeah. You have specified the problem. I felt disappointed that, I felt hurt that you did this. That feels like you, you, you are hurt, but you still care. Yeah. Not that I've given up with you, you know. Okay. Yeah. There are some people who, when they get into arguments with their boyfriend, girlfriend, uh, fiance, fiance, uh, husband, wife, now make threats about leaving the relationship. Very good. Those ones for, you're just like, I, I can't do this anymore. I want to break up with you. Or I want a divorce. Yes. Imagine throwing out such words in the middle of an argument. Talk to me about that. That's, uh, we need to say, the people who say that they're coming from two things. I just let's tell our viewers that you need to watch for bitterness mm -hmm. and sarcasm. Mm. They are usually the root. In my counseling, I meet people and the words that scarred them. When I look at many of them are coming from a person who's bitter or a person who, who grew up sarcasm being normal. You know, the, the, the ladies whom you text them, even when you're dating, oh, I love you, they, they reply, I love me too. <laughs> <laughs> so the sarcasm they are used to, they don't know that in a relationship it can be very painful. Yeah. Bitterness is if you grew up being wounded. Let, let's say the following. Mm. Uh, th these words, there's scar. And the difference is this. If you, if you know that there's a difference between a scar and an open wound. Mm. A scar is a pain, you know, that is still fresh, that is still raw. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 th that's a wound that is still fresh. Now, a scar, is, it has healed, but it, the mark is still there. When you attach it, it's still sensitive. So if you, if you realize that you are bitter, please solve those matters quickly before they eat into your relationship. Mm -hmm. Now, to the other day, if you have been abandoned by your relationship or by your father, if you are a lady, the first, the first man in your life, a father, abandoned you, you subconsciously begin to expect abandonment. Mm. And whenever no more conflict arises, unanza kusema, nilijua tu. Yes. Nilijua. Niache basi. Nilijua tu rand. Achala wow. maru. Nisha jipanga. So hizo ni shida zaku you've not dealt with. Unresolved. That's a, that's, a, that's a wound that is still yeah, active. And you know true. it's a wound when you say, you don't discuss that issue. For example, after that, I ask you, can we talk about why you said that? Ah, me start kuangile yo mambo. It is still pain, still a wound. You need to That's heal. what we call daddy issues. Yes. Yeah. Many of them, this, and you know when you keep, exp oh, if your father was cheating, womanizer or that, you keep anticipating yeah. that I'll do the same. Those so are you the ones who walk around saying all men cheat. You keep accusing me of that. Yeah. Until I begin to wonder, even if I'm not doing it, I'm still paying for it. Yes. Wow. <laughs> I might as well do it. Well, 
So we could even be the ones driving him to cheat. There are many men who, by suspecting their partner, their wife, or the other way, you, you, you push them to doing the very thing that was not on their mind. Walala. It is you who had cheating so much on your mind that you keep chastising me for it. And even I see the opportunity anyway. Like, ah, <laughs> she already thinks I'm doing it. Yes. It won't make any difference. Wow. That's how trust works. Trust and mistrust are the same. Fear and faith have the same thing. You have to believe in something you can't see. Wow. When you're afraid that I'm cheating, you're believing it although you can't see it. Mm -hmm. When you believe that I'm faithful, you're believing it although you can't see it. Yeah. And you end up actually attracting it. Let's talk then also about there are people who are very manipulative yes. in their relationships. Yes. One of my pe when I hear someone says that in their relationship they, they, that they've had an argument and then the person tells them, Ati, if you if you really love me, you would. Oh yeah. X Y Z. Yeah. Very manipulative. That statement is saying I actually don't love you. Hmm. And what have we said? If you keep accusing me of not loving you, loving you means a losing sense. Then my efforts are not being rewarded. So to Nasema, I, I I wish to do the following. How about you? You put it this way. I know you love me, but I wish to do so. Do A B C D. Mm -hmm. You're asking me to go ahead because I love you. <laughs> to love you in a certain way you want. Mm -hmm. And again, we say, you don't, so, uh, there are people, they manipulate because manipulation is their default. And they don't have another way of interacting with the people. Mm. Uh, they are so sick inside. They are so narcissistic. They must keep you off balance. Remember the characters were saying, they keep you on the edge. The relationship is full of drama. Something yeah. must, th no, dust does not settle on one issue before another one comes up. <laughs> there are people who are just addicted to drama. If you realize you're that kind of a person, trying to love them more does not help. Yeah. No amount of love can, can, can settle that kind of a person. Mm. Yeah, so if you realize you're in the midst of a manipulative person, don't say I'm running late, I have to settle. To listen, sometimes you rush in into marriage and soon you have to rush out. Yeah. Better be late and be right. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. Hey, I'm seeing your feedback coming in. Someone says, hey, Joy, say hi to Benjamin Zulu, always a fan. How do you handle a guy who when you tell him the truth about your life, he shies away and does not talk to you for weeks? So these are people, again... You know, talking about those conversations that could be deal breakers. If, you know, people want to be honest about their past. So, but you've said, Wanaome, there are certain things you should... Is it I, that you should not tell your partner <laughs> or it is about when and how you tell your partner? Okay. Listen to me, that girl who texted, thank you about that. Uh, to say, Mehivi, to say, even if you're trying to be truthful, don't be stupid. Measure your man. How much can he accommodate? If you need to process <laughs> the issues... Go to the right source to process. I'm a psychologist. Come tell me everything. Then I'll tell you what he can handle. You know him. He has already under sitting insecurities. His ex cheated and you're here saying you had other seven men before him. <laughs> he will think you're just like that girl. So miss, sometimes you need wisdom. Okay. In one wedding I had the, very, the reverend tell the, the bride that you have your firstborn now. Treat him like your first son. Ah? To some extent men are... True, true story. There's a level you have to view him just like a boy. Don't tell him. Treat him with genderness, tenderness. Kuna vitu fai kumwe kunje expose. One girl was a party girl. This is a true case I handled. Was a party girl before she married. And, and then she marries this man who is very collected, but he has in, been in church all along. This is the first girl. He's but this girl was a party girl. Sex was noise. But now she's reformed and changed. But because of the friendship and the openness, she said... So you, she's not supposed to tell him that she's... Had Can he handle before? it? No, okay, what is she what is she not saying? That she's had relations before or how many relations she's had? She gave too many details. Okay. Don't give too many details. That but because we're also not saying to tell people to lie about their No, past. we're not lying. Listen, there's a difference between lying, openness, honesty, and foolishness. <laughs> Jace, there's a quote I told people yesterday. There's <laughs> a quote somewhere. Never approach listen, never approach a bull from the front, a dunking from behind. Oh, an idiot from any direction. <laughs> Benjamin. Measure your man. <laughs> Can he stand this level of openness? So Oi. just to say, maybe, Christian girls especially, those who value honesty. <laughs> be honest, but also be wise. What did Abigail do when, when, when David was incensed and angry and was about to kill the husband? Right. She used wisdom. She sent food and honored the man. Mm. The man, actually, he responded in a way that I want all of you to elicit, to elicit from all the men you deal with. It's the story of Abigail and Nabal in the Bible. Oh, this girl in church. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> she said, David responded in a way that I hope ladies will try to look for that kind of response. Yeah. I, have, I, have, I have both heard your advice and respected your person. Look for respect. Mm -hmm. So what you do with this man, eh? understand kuna vitu, kuna limits. 
unasikia akiwa na fears na nini why why feed the fears by telling him hata mimi vile unaniona you know <laughs> what he does not know does not hurt him go to the right place to Where? process so kuna vitu za my wife honestly i don't wanna know i just know generally you had a guy before me that's all yeah. don't tell me one night i went and then we went and we went <laughs> and then what <laughs> if he's no longer in your life what are you telling me So this this is how you measure this this a balance this a delicate balance you have to strike between how much you disclose to your man can he handle it and do you need to say it if it is in your past and it's dead history Joyce why okay. you bring it up okay 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 where haya why they run doing on facebook says nowadays we don't have men we have big boys full of themselves mm-hmm. it's she has a point we have boys grown beards <laughs> We have we do have people who are just so immature. Mm. You have to just walk on eggshells when you're dealing with them. Okay. But you told lady although God told me God told you that the man you marry will will rule over you. He also give you the chance to choose the ruler you want. <laughs> Masi Ogola says morning Joyce say hi to Benjamin. I'm really laughing. Hi. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> He's so funny and inspiring. I'm really learning a lot about today's topic. All right. Um <laughs> Let's move on to other conversation things. Yes. Kuna wale they can actually air their dirty linen in public. Like when you're having an argument or things have been tense, like don't talk down your person in public, right? Like don't tell them to shut up, don't tell them to like don't talk to your boys and like dismiss her in front of them. Same with the ladies. Don't go and start talking about yeah. your husband or your boyfriend. um and discrediting him in front of other people kuna watu wana time wana time move your your relationship breaks up and maybe they'll move in because yes. you know sometimes we don't appreciate what we have yeah Th- that's so damaging public criticism yeah it's extremely damaging and when you say public it can be just one more person putting down your wife in front of your house yeah yeah you know she's the, 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 if you have corrections to make less talk between the two of us mm-hmm. out there let's put up the image that is required mm. that we are married and we are human we are not perfect we have our times but yeah. we don't we don't need to expose them so even if you don't tell us Joyce I know you and your hubby are not always laughing every day neither do I and my wife are always laughing every day mm-hmm. but it's an it's a, it's a, an open secret but do we need to show the, the public where we are now no because people mm-hmm. cannot take advantage of it so yeah. if you have a person who, who criticizes you publicly possibly you are being more damaged Yeah. And remember we say it, the wound should not you should not excuse the wound just because the person who, who pierced you you know said they loved you. Right. Just because you're wounded by a person who you know you're, you're trying to you say you're in a relationship to you should yeah. not uh, accommodate pain. And that thing about public criticism is so damaging because you're telling your partner that you're not a team that you're willing yes. to kanyaga them yes. you know if it was going to make you look better in yeah. public. Yeah. So why should they stay with you? That's the point. Actually many times when you embarrass me be, be, before my friends many times you have not only hurt our relationship between us but you many parties are heshima kwao and the same thing we tell girls have a, a friend one friend or a professional Joyce we said kuna series za maisha yako you should only trust with strangers <laughs> not people who are in your life to stay eh Land that. Sasa yeah professional come open because i don't know you and i can't tell anybody i don't know your life you trust a friend with so <laughs> much secrets they'll always have something a power over you najua mm. najua mm. najua and they can say it and then they can hurt you mm. so w- this this girls you you girls like sharing and you have this new crush and you have this guy and all that be very careful whom you open it to because they they can be in, they can be aroused to envy yeah absolutely you're doing better than them mm. they can hurt you that's why we said relatives are very dangerous because they will be always in your life and they, they can compare Yeah. Undi mdogo wa huyu, undi mkubwa huyu, huyu ame In Africa we say there are two ways of becoming the first born. Be born first or be the most successful. Mm. The most successful child becomes the leader automatically. Sure. But these others are wondering will you pita wapi? Your success highlights my no, my failure. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, let me move on to some other comments here because I have a lot of questions coming in. Okay. Um someone here saying <clears throat> Uh hey Joyce just enjoying the show from Kayole. Uh you have a question about the Frozen cartoon. <laughs> I I'm going to be sharing details about that um towards the end of the show. Um hey Joyce, what if he tells you wewe ni bure kabisa? Guy. Okay, let me ask by the time you marry bure kabisa, who are you? <laughs> you are the bigger bure kabisa. <laughs> so mm-hmm. if this man does, you cannot insult your wife without insulting yourself. Yeah, you yeah. picked her. Mm-hmm. Na tunasema if you have this person who has no qualms, who does who does not feel anything when they're putting you down, making you feel bad. Yeah, that's not a good question. Let's say this. There's a book called Love It Forward. 
love is not a frozen thing. Si kama idea Kenya ukipata ushapata. Mm. Me I I marry you but will only stay as long as you're valuing me. Right. I have not submitted to be your slave. Yeah, yeah. Let the ladies to continue putting a, a thermometer <laughs> into their relationship and to sense whether it is still working. Mm. Don't listen to this social pressure at you have to keep your marriage working. Yeah. God hates divorce, Christians. God hates divorce but does not hate divorcees. He knows the relationship takes two people. Mm -hmm. And if one stops playing, you see must mm -hmm. We don't see anywhere where the Bible, you know, condemns Abigail for trying to appease the wise man against a foolish husband. Mm -hmm. And I've always asked where the wise girl had gotten hooked up with a fool. <laughs> Maybe those days they were being hooked by other people. Right. But you're saying, come on, I could put it down continually, put down your foot and say, I can't put this, I can't stay with this anymore. Mm. Uh, uh, some ladies will ask, when will these games stop? I tell them, it, they will stop when you stop playing. Wow. Hey, okay. Let me move on to some more questions. Hey there, how do you handle a lady who thinks you always cheat on her? So I'm going to read a couple and we can correct, summarize correct. our answers now. How do you handle a lady who thinks you always cheat on her and she doesn't want you to relate? Atana relatives, that's by Kelvo. And we kind of touched on that a little bit, but I'll, I'll throw that to you later. Hey Joyce, just saying hi, I love you. It's Purity from Gong. Thank you so much, Purity, for your love. I do appreciate you. Um... Hello, Joyce. Say hi to the guest. When I argue with my boyfriend, I always talk of a breakup, but now we are in good terms. My fears are he has been raised with relatives and he is an orphan. He needs me to act like a mom and a girlfriend and lover. Please help. Heh. That doesn't sound like a very healthy or stable relationship. Let's start here. When you do these people are very needy. They're coming from a, like that orphan. And they want you to be both the mother, you know, the girlfriend, the lover. The lover. You are not looking for a project, excuse me. Mm. <laughs> this is not a rescue center. You're looking for a mom, a partner, a husband, a lover, a person who gives you as much as you give them. Don't be manipulated by people's needs to stay there and they feed on you when they're not feeding you. Soon you'll be depleted. Let's say this, Joyce. Put it on the table with that guy. I understand your mm. need, I understand the situation, <laughs> but understand I also have needs. Mm. Okay? I may have good family that raised me, but they are not here with me anymore. This is about us. Yeah. So can you work on your side? Sometimes I tell, I tell ladies, help that guy. Love him the way you love the moon. Fondly, but from a distance. We all love the moon, but we don't go to live there. <laughs> we know we can't survive there. So there are people you wow. need to love them from a distance. Wow. That is still love. Okay. Okay. Two more messages here, Benjamin. Hey, Joyce, loving the show. I want to ask how to deal with a partner who's so possessive. He wants everything to go as per his way. Not that I don't have a say, but he'll always have a way to get his way through everything. And it's really becoming an issue. It's becoming an issue because you're still accommodating it. Why don't you put it up the way you've written this text? Why don't you text him like that? Mm -hmm. I'm concerned that you're always having your way. I'm concerned that I'm losing my voice. I can't, when you, when you pretend like you're hearing my voice, but finally you still force your way. Is this part of what we were talking about earlier, Benjamin? That in a way, it's almost like we can get ourselves to a point of desperation just to be in a relationship. Very good. That now suddenly it's like you don't call out things. Yes. Because you're scared of losing the uh -huh. relationship when you know it's not even. Doing I think it's her well. fear that is keeping her there. Sometimes you're afraid if I rock the boat, I'll be left. Mm. Is it your fear of abandonment? I hope that lady would even call up. I do sessions on phone. Call up and let's talk. Okay. I can guide you. Okay. Part of it, what, what you usually do with these people is tell them, what are you afraid most of? Atakwambia, miss imagining ni kiachwa. Naogopa. I was brought up by a single mother. Naogopa. Atatuangu alelea na single mother again. I, I fear carrying that forward. Naogopia, excuse me. You can't control life like that. Yeah. At, after the Bible, naogopia, as far as it, it depends on you, live at peace with other people. As far as it, it depends on you. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, okay, one last one, Benjamin, very quickly. <clears throat> it's a bit of a long text, but um, hey, Joyce, please, I need some help here. I'm getting married next week, but the guy is never involving me in any discussion about anything, talk of money, friends, or anything. When we met, I used to do my makeup, dress the way I want, and I valued him. On the way, he started changing me. Now I don't do anything that I loved before. I feel like my self-esteem is damaged because he always tells me I don't look beautiful at all. What? Hmm. If I try to tell him that I don't like the way he does things, he gets mad at me and I just don't want to hear it anymore. Please help me. That's June. Getting married next week. June, that's urgent. Contact me, Zulu Benjamin at Gmail. Yeah, please. I think this girl and many others value wedding so much they forget marriage. Mm. She's talking of wedding. He can, I mean, surely you're about to get married. He has to be. He cannot not call you beautiful like the week I'm before your wedding. That. Seriously. It's like you're being hunted down. And now no, you're being caged. Okay. June, please reach out to Benjamin, your number. Zulu Benjamin at gmail.com. Facebook is Zulu Benjamin page. Let okay. that girl uh, contact me. 
All right. Unfortunately, my time is up and I do need to wrap up. But thank you guys for all of your feedback and your comments. It's been a great engaging session with you. Um, just, you know, listening to all of the different feedback that's coming in, your questions. And uh, thank you to my guests. Thank you, Benjamin, as always, for coming through. Now, guys, before I go, let me remind you that Aladdin is offering a 90% discount when you shop of their clothing or groceries online. And as our audience here on Switch TV, you get an extra discount of 200 shillings when you use the coupon code SWA. 200 <clears throat> ha! there's also a better deal where anyone who shops for an amount totaling a thousand bob and above uh, gets a chance to choose any product that will be labeled one bob and that could even include a phone your goods will be delivered to you within 48 hours of request and of course someone was asking about frozen switch tv is giving a double treat to all our super fans we have tickets to watch charlie's angels i mean frozen up this week and you stand a chance to win um, uh, those tickets. For details, please do follow Switch TV pages on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for more details. And also, if you watch movies at Anga IMAX, Anga Sky, and Anga Diamond every Tuesday, you will get yourself 50% off popcorn of all sizes. Woo! All right, guys, I think we're done for the day. Thank you so much for your company, for your feedback and your SMSs. Let's do this again tomorrow as we continue to grow and shop in one another. Until then, have yourselves a blessed day. I'll see you soon. Ciao.